Hi guys, welcome to C++ Code Answers. I'm Khumsakhan Peculiar and I'm your tutor. Please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel. Also, please click the notifications button so that you're always updated when we upload a new video. Today we're going back to the basics. We're working a basic input-output problem and it reads as thus. Write a program that accepts as input the mass in grams and the density in grams per cubic centimeters and the output and outputs the volume of the object using the formula. Density is equal to mass divided by volume and format your output to two decimal places. Like we mentioned, this is a basic problem, but we'll be learning how to format our output to the desired decimal places. Also, looking at our equation, it's a density calculating equation, but we must output the volume according to the problem question. We will be going through how to get the volume, which is a mathematical problem, but why not do some math while coding? So let's open our IDE and get started. We have to format our output to two decimal places, so we'll need a header for mani manipulating. Our equation has no math functions, so we don't need C math and the other functions. Now to the main function. Let's build the structure of the main function. Declarations first. The program must accept as input the mass, which can have a decimal point, so it's double. And it will be accepting the density in grams, so declare it. The program outputs the volume, so let's declare it as well. And that's all the declarations. Now what's next? Prompt the user for the input. Let's first prompt input of the mass. Prompt input of the density now. Before we may proceed to the output, let's build our equation for the volume now. Our volume equation. The equation here says density is equal to mass divided by volume. To get the volume to the left side of the equation, we must multiply both sides of the equation by volume. On the right side, this volume will cancel out with the one we have divided by the mass. And on the left, we will have a multiplication of the volume with the density. So we've moved our volume from the right to the left. Now our equation is density multiplied by volume is equal to mass. Now to get the density out from the left side, we must multiply it by the inverse of de density, which is one divided by density, so that the density on the left is cancelled out by the one over density and will be remaining with volume only on the left. And on the right side, the one divided by density multiplication will result in mass divided by density. Now our equation will be volume is equal to mass divided by volume. And there we have our volume equation. So now we can output. 
But remember, we have to format our output to two decimal places. We have already declared our header file, iumanic, which has functions to help us do so. And this function is set precision. We are told it's to two decimal places, hence the two in there. The fixed is to ensure that we have two decimal places either way, even if the output is no decimals you'll be having your two zeros as decimals. Now let's output. Now let's save our code. Compile it, run it, let's try it out with simple numbers like when we have 15 divided by 3 we know it's a 5. There we have a 5 and you see we have two decimal places of zeros. Let's try out with long decimal places values. There, our answer is in two decimal places. Give yourself a pat in the back. You've just run a successful C++ basic code. That's it for me today, guys. You send in your problem questions which you'd like for us to solve together here on this platform. And keep coding. Please don't grow weary of coding. I'll see you on our next video.